from the state point of view, uh, we don't have a national identity. Now, the fact that you are calling me a Palestinian from the Israeli point of view is a lie. of the Palestinians in Israel, not just at the moment, uh, has been in great danger since, since the Nakba, since 1948. One of the bases of democracy is equality. The Jewish state, by definition, cannot bring equality between the citizens because it has 20% of the population who are not Jewish. And these are not immigrants or people that came there by a mistake. We are the indigenous community. Israel was built on the ruins of my people, of the Palestinian people. Our biggest challenge as a Palestinian minority is, is to keep our national identity. And we are fighting in this field since 1948 because the Israeli state prevents us from learning our history in our schools. We have to study modern Zionist history and according to the Zionist narrative, we don't learn our Palestinian history. Uh, this makes a lot of problems with identity. And I think that this continuous way of the Israeli state trying to destroy us through destroying our identity has been continuing since, since the war of 1940. Of course, in the last few years, there is more danger because the Israeli society, the Jewish majority inside Israel, is deteriorating very fast towards being a fascist society. Nowadays, the most dangerous rightist uh, leader is, is, is Benjamin Netanyahu. He carries very dangerous thoughts and he is powerful enough to fulfill his dreams and his thoughts. All of the Israeli politics, not just the government, all of the important ministers, all of the important institutions in the state are now controlled by right-wing politicians who are, who are carrying dangerous fascist way of thinking and they are leading the society. Most of the academic research proves that the majority of the Palestinian youth inside the state of Israel are rediscovering their Palestinian identity and they feel much more connected to the Palestinian issues and much more connected to the Palestinian question than the generation before. So this is something that gives us a little bit feeling of, of, of optimism because of a lot of work of different NGOs and political parties and intellectuals inside the Palestinian society inside Israel. But there's also another very important reason. The Zionist project in Palestine is built on, 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 on racist roots. So they built a very racist society and the identity that they built for the citizenship is connected to your ethnic religious uh, feelings. So from their point of view, in order to be part of the group, part of the citizens, you need to be Jewish. So this prevents you from the beginning to be able as an Arab Palestinian citizen of the state of Israel to be part of the group.